Hey guys, this is Shyan from Simplex. We are making a video up for a long long time because we've been busy with other projects for Simplex. Stay tuned for some awesome projects coming up soon. But before that, it's time to make a video that you guys have requested for a lot. Let the intros roll. So today's video is a little interesting. We are going to review the performance of a mid-range laptop. Now this is a specific Asus model. If you guys want to check out the review of this, it's linked in the eye above. But more specifically, you guys wanted to know how much will a laptop worth 40 to say 50,000 or 55,000 perform in game. Now this particular model has a GT 940M from Nvidia and a Core i5 5200U. Now, if that Core i5 becomes a 6200U or even if you go for a Core i7, your performance will more or less remain the same because the 940M will give you the main performance. Oh, another thing guys, in the mid-range section, if you guys want to play games in your laptop, you have to do something very important. In fact, not only in mid-range, even in the Alienware's and the MSI laptops, you'll have to do that. And that is, you'll have to plug in the power to get the most out of your graphic card. Having said that, the number one tip I will give you guys is play games, you know, the latest AAA titles always in 1280 into 720 or 1360 into 768 in these laptops to get the highest frame rates out of it. Now, some people say 20 FPS is alright, but I say at least 30 FPS is important. And when gaming in a PC, settle for nothing less than a 60 FPS gameplay. Having said that, 1280 into 720 or 1366 into 768 is the resolution you should go for. Point 1. Point 2. Always keep the game settings between medium to high. Now, you may ask why medium to high? Because even the consoles, the next-gen consoles, namely the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, have the game setting somewhere between medium to high when you're drawing a parallel with the PC settings. And also, those consoles play the games mostly at HD resolution and upscale to full HD. And the last point is that these consoles, most of them, most games rather, they play at 30 FPS also. So, you're not losing out much in the laptop. But... It's time to see the numbers that the GD940M produces when paired with a Core i5-5200U. Now that you guys have seen the benchmarks and obviously I have Gerald uh, staring at something in the Witcher 3 menu right like over here. So uh, basically, yeah, the Witcher 3 is running on this and you guys saw a myriad of games that we tested on this laptop. Now you must have seen the scores are not overwhelming but it's not underwhelming either guys. Say five years back you wouldn't get these scores from a mid-range laptop, trust me. Now, the gaming scenario is much better and it will improve further, you know, with the upcoming generation, say the Pascal that is coming out next should improve this further. Having said that and having seen all the benchmarks, you guys now can make an informed decision. Now, uh, the last thing that I would like to say is if mobility is the number one priority for you, then go for a laptop in this price range. But if you are a student or if you are an office goer who can buy a PC and settle with the, you know, one place placement of a PC and you need not hurl around your computer with you wherever you go, then go for a PC in this price range because we are going to have a new video coming up soon 
comparing a 40 grand laptop with a 40 grand PC and we will also compare the performance of these two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, like this video. If you did not like it, dislike it. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys. Over and out.